speaker this evening, Howard Stevens. Some of you probably remember Howard from his days playing with Baltimore Colts in the 1970s. But his remarks are as inspiring as his life story career, we are in for a real treat this evening. All of his life, Howard Stevens had overcome long, has overcome long odds. One of eight children born to a factory worker mother and a trash hauler father, who's just another poor black child from a sleepy southern town where racial laws and restrictions kept everyone separate but unequal. If that wasn't hardship enough, he was among the smallest boys in the school. So you can imagine his sixth grade teacher was surprised when he announced, when Howard announced to his teacher he was going to play professional football when he grew up. The teacher could have laughed, but he didn't because he knew Howard. To reach his dream, Howard volunteered to integrate the local all-white high school <coughs> football team. He scored six touchdowns the first game he played. The first time he picked up a football for that team. He gave a consensus little Wallenberg and tailback for Randolph Macon. Jumped to Division I for University of Louisville, earning second team All-American and garnered six votes for the high school award. And graduated on time with distinction. He then had a very successful career in the National Football League playing for the Baltimore Colts and, unfortunately, the New Orleans Saints as well, <laughs> despite being one of the smallest players in the NFL. He now enjoys a success and successful career in the business world. To know Howard's story is to understand what makes America great. Whether on the gridiron, in business, or life, Howard's commitment to winning has propelled him to a pinnacle as an athlete, a business executive, and a man. Let's turn the page with Howard Stevens. Thank you very much, folks.